Let's get straight to the point. Here's a quick comparison of the normal capture rate versus the upgraded quality capture rate. Most people don't know you can upgrade the quality and change it from 16 by 9 to a full widescreen, full capture, 1080, 60 frames per second. And with the split screen, you don't really see much, but I assure you that when you upgrade it, it will look so much better in the headset and in the capture footage. It's almost night and day. I'm surprised Oculus doesn't allow you to change it from the headset alone, but you can't do it from the headset. You're going to need at least a PC or a laptop or any type of computer that works and is pretty up to date. You may not be able to tell the difference, but in the headset, the textures are so much better. It's like so sharp. You can read each word. Like a lot of sometimes standalone Oculus, things can become sort of fuzzy. But when you have the higher quality, the fuzziness goes away. It may kill your battery just a little bit more. But for me, I think it's so worth it to play on a higher quality visually and have the ability to record and capture video 1080p and 60 frames per second on a wide screen is much better than having that box 16 by 9. Well, this is the ratio. Maybe this will help show you a better comparison. Let's start off with the normal capture rate. This is what you get standalone from the Oculus Quest without any modification or PC. Got my ass kicked. Well, this is the ratio. Now let's show you the upgraded quality widescreen. You will need a PC, a laptop, or some type of computer for this, but hopefully this will give you a better visual of it solo without split screen. Alright, so you want to know how to upgrade your visuals. It's pretty simple. Again, all you're going to need is a PC or a laptop, and once you got that, download the app SideQuest. You're going to need SideQuest. This is free. You don't need anything except a pretty decent laptop or computer or something. And once you have this app installed on your computer, you can open it up, and immediately you'll see this homepage. You connect the Oculus Quest to your computer, and it'll ask you if you allow it to connect and you say yes and at the top left you'll see the green dot that says you're connected and once you connect it you go to the right side and you hit the settings bar the settings bar is that little wrench right there you see it click that bad boy and once you click it you'll have all these options usually I start from the bottom but you should read all these you're not gonna need to touch all of them so I'll just scroll all the way down to the bottom to the ones that I really need the most the bottom one is for oculus go so don't touch it but I like to mess with default texture size. This changes the quality in the game textures. I usually go with 3072. Once you click it, you'll see the green bar on the bottom indicating that it is now on your quest. And never touch set CPU and GPU. So leave that alone. But I do use set video capture size. Now this will change the resolution of the video you record. Then there's fixed foveated rendering. This will change the view size on the outer edge of your eye and up the quality. So I always do high top on that. Then I go to full rate capture. Always go on for full rate capture. Guardian is cool to turn it on and off if you never have. You can play the game with no Guardian. It's pretty fun. You just got to be very careful. And everything else I don't touch. Refresh rate, you should have it at 120 hertz. But I don't touch anything else. Uh, another positive thing is that when you reset your headset, all this will start all over. So you'll have a, a default headset when you power it off. It'll look like this. So there's no need to worry about it being permanent. Once you turn off your headset, everything will go back to normal. But if you want to up your quality, you'll need the laptop and PC and side quests and do all the steps that we just did right now. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is pretty simple. It's fun. I'm telling you, this is the best way to up the quality. So many games look so much better to record them. If you want to upload them to YouTube and stuff, you want to make them widescreen. Um, and that's pretty much it. You want them to look super widescreen. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell for more videos like this one.